Good evening, I'm Mike Lauer. Today we'll be diving into the World Wide Web to the front lines of an internet war. A war on words and ideas being fought by self-proclaimed social warriors. Words are their weapons, and internet anonymity is their shield. We came down to Simi Valley, California to meet a team of flagists, or to the layman, an online community member that monitors poor behavior. That's where AJ and John found their calling. My name is AJ. And my name's John. And we are professional flaggers. Working together from their home office, they flagged countless videos. This right here. This is Ground Zero. Headquarters. Mom! Sorry. What the hell? I'd say we're like an online SWAT team. Yeah, nothing gets past us. What sort of material are you flagging? Things that encourage, you know, um, hate, uh, uh, racism, I mean, f fascism, and uh, corporations. So you feel the entirety of the internet needs to be in line with your views? That is exactly right. Otherwise, we flag it down. What do you call yourselves? Us? We're the flaggets. Flag These so-called flaggets spend hours online, flagging content they deem inappropriate. Have you considered simply bypassing the material you find disagreable? We, we haven't, no. <laughs> no I, yeah, yeah, what, is the internet gonna magically know our opinions? No. If you like this, then you should go kill yourself. Hail corporate. Yes! Do people ever fight back after your criticisms? They can try, but uh, we just flame them. You flame them? Flaming is basically yelling at somebody why they're wrong. <laughs> it's what we do. These flaming flaggets have a wide reach. We spoke to one such content creator that fell victim to their remarks. Yeah, I, I uploaded this video of my dogs playing with each other. You know, like, uh, like play fighting. And I understand a flag had found it. What happened? They accused me of animal cruelty, they accused me of starting a dog fighting ring, and then they accused me of being Islamophobic. Do you feel that you're doing good? That you're on the right side? Mike, there's a reason why we're called social justice warriors, okay? There's a reason why we're called YouTube heroes. White knight is another term that comes to mind. That's actually racist. Yeah, did he just assume my race? Um, I don't think I did, but aren't you white? Wow, okay, you know, I actually identify as an African-American, so uh, we have it hard enough with their goddamn stereotypes. These two flaggets seem all too aware they're under the cover of the internet. In one case, we found record of them claiming to be a Navy SEAL, who was the top sniper in the entire U.S. Armed Forces. You get into some pretty big fights on the internet. Are you ever worried about an altercation in the real world? Have you seen my sword video? We're warriors inside and out. Think you wrote the rules? You talk crap about a woman or anybody that identifies as a woman? We're gonna have a problem. When we see people that need our help, we're just as brave as we are in the in the in the online as we are in the real world. As brave and helpful as in the real world. That last comment got us thinking. Would the flaggets be as brave and bold in their non-virtual reality as they claim? After the interview, we decided to put these two to the test. We set up an altercation sting with a man and a woman fighting over a purse. Would these black and white knights react with the same vigor as they do on the internet? We decided to find out. Give me your purse! The experiment seemed to prove a theory that has long existed on the internet. Those that scream the loudest and disparage others online often have the most to prove. So the next time you feel the need to force your opinion on an internet stranger, ask yourself, are you a flaggot? I'm Mike Lauer. Thanks for watching.